When the left side pendulum falls, it causes the right side pendulum to rise to the same height the left pendulum had fallen from. At the same time, the falling left side pendulum also moves the middle pendulum a certain distance. Then the process is repeated. To me, the movement of the middle pendulum swinging back and forth is a type of free energy. That is, the left and right pendulums can swing back and forth whether the middle pendulum is present or not. The middle pendulum has mass and acceleration, and this means it has a force. With a force, you can do work. The fall of the left pendulum causes the middle pendulum to travel a far greater distance. The mass of the left and middle pendulums are the same. I raise the left side pendulum three inches, but the middle pendulum travels a total distance of over 200 inches or over 16 feet. You can count for yourself the number of inches the pendulum indicator moves over as it swings back and forth. To me, this is clearly a gain in free energy. The only question is, is how can the free energy in the moving middle pendulum be captured? I think I know a way.